Hello everyone and welcome to the final round of the FIDE World Blitz Championship 2022. Uh, Magnus is leading the tournament by half a point and uh, the only person standing in his way to win the not only the World Blitz Championship but uh, the, the World Everything Championship as Magnus is the reigning World Classical Champion. Uh, he just won the World Rapid Championship and now if he beats uh, Nodirbek Abdusatrov he will be the World Blitz Champion and he will uh, wield the three titles once again uh, for, the, for the third time which is absolutely incredible he 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 did it in 2014 and he did it uh in 2019 and uh, now will he be able to do it again let's check it out uh if he wins he wins the title for sure no one can catch up to him he has the white pieces and no this game he does not open with b3 this game he opens with e4 saying okay now let's uh, let's play good chess we have e5 by abdusatorov uh last year's world rapid champion knight to f3 we have knight to c6 and the bishop to b5 Magnus goes for the Rui Lopez, uh, a6 Morphe's defense, bishop to a4 and knight to f6. We have pawn to d3 and now pawn to b5. We have bishop to b3 and bishop to e7 saying that this will not be a, a quick draw magnus really wants to win the full point here we have a4 b4 and now magnus castles now this is all uh top standard theory so nothing new being played here castles knight b to d2 and now pawn to d6 we have c3 and rook to b8 by abdusatorov we have rook to e1 and now knight to a5 putting pressure on that bishop so bishop to a2 and now pawn to c5 uh, abdusatorov strikes in the center Pawn to d4, Magnus does so as well. B captures, B captures, C captures, C captures on d4. We have knight back to c6 now, putting pressure on the d4 pawn. And the position has been reached uh, a few times. Knight to c4 has been played a couple of times. H3 has been played. Bishop to a3 has been played. But the move that Magnus plays has never been played before. Magnus plays pawn to d5. And it is now as of move 15, or rather 16, that we have a completely new game. Knight to b4 goes after. After the bishop and the bishop to c4 of course magnus wants to keep his light square bishop that is your most prized possession in the uh, rui lopez knight to h5 and now pawn to a5 magnus grabs more space on the queen side uh, knight to f4 and now knight to f1 uh, the standard knight maneuver we have bishop to g4 and now knight to e3 attacking the bishop here bishop h5 and now rook to a3 very nice rook lift the rook will also uh, uh possibly be shifted to help out with the attack against the black king we have queen to c7 developing the queen connecting rooks and now bishop to d2 here uh very strong is bishop to f1 uh because black wants to play f5 and with bishop to f5 you no longer have to worry about the knight uh, guarding the bishop so knight uh, does control the f5 square but okay after bishop to d2 abdusatrov does not take advantage of this he doesn't play pawn to f5 he plays bishop cap on f3 queen captures and now knight to c2 going for some trades here and now if knight captures then the bishop is no longer defended that's exactly what magnus does knight captures queen captures and now comes knight to e3 also rook to c3 very strong but magnus has a different idea he attacks the queen goes after the f5 square queen to d4 and now rook to d1 now threatening all sorts of discoveries for the moment you don't have any but um, uh, abdusatrov decides to move the queen to c5 uh, as it comes with tempo but it only seems it comes with tempo after queen to c5 magnus just plays knight to f5 now at, uh, defending his rook on a3 attacking the bishop on e7 and also preparing some very nasty threats against the black king so bishop g5 uh, h4 pushing the bishop back bishop to f6 and now rook to c3 attacking the queen and it doesn't really matter where you put the queen but abdusatorov decides to boldly grab the a5 pawn as it really doesn't seem like the rook has any useful discoveries uh, but nonetheless magnus finds one he plays pawn to g3 attacks the knight and now uh it doesn't really matter what you do now the brilliant thing about um, the knight retreating to g6 is that it's um you can take advantage of this any any way you want but i'm just going to show you the coolest way look at this knight to h6 check and okay you don't want to uh, capture because then queen captures on f6 bishop captures on g7 uh, on h7 and you get checkmated so you might play king to h8 and say okay that's a silly looking knight on h6 but then knight captures on f7 with check and now look at this rook captures rook to c8 with check and now you definitely do have a good discovery rook captures bishop captures queen and black is down too much material so Noderbeck figures this out and plays knight captures on d5 
now he says all right your rook is hanging if you capture then i might have some e4 ideas attacking the the rook here with the bishop and magnus says i'm not interested in this just moves the rook to a3 i will however show you uh what happens if he captures on d5 because it's beautiful look at this pawn to e4 attacks the queen and the rook on c3 queen g4 now says all right i'm gonna put pressure on the black king here and just bishop captures on c3 so what would uh be white's best reply here it's a hypothetical situation but even uh, i thought it would be a nice uh, pause the video moment so feel free to pause the video here and try to win this hypothetical position for white while i give you a couple of seconds So uh, for those of you who were able to do it, congratulations on spotting this uh, very, very slow and quiet move. And for those of you who just want to enjoy the show, it is Rook to C1. Now, after this move, there is nothing black can do and black uh, just resigns the game. You cannot keep defending the uh, the G7 square and the bishop cannot remain here blocking the path of the of white's dark square bishop towards the black queen. So here, regardless of what you do, you either win the black queen or you checkmate the black king. So congratulations to everyone who found this. But Magnus, of course, not eager to overcalculate, plays rook to a3. Now comes queen to c5 and rook to c1 now continues harassing up the Satorov's queen, queen to b6, and now e captures on d5. Now Magnus is just up a piece, and Abdusatorov has to figure out how to win something back. He plays queen to b2, attacks the rook and the bishop here, rook to d3, and now rook f to d8, guarding the d6 pawn, but just king to g2. Magnus first gets his king to safety before going after that d6 pawn. Queen to b5, attack, uh, puts pressure on the rook here, and now rook to c6, going after the pawn, and there is no defending this, now Abdusatorov can just hope for a miracle. He plays rook to e8, hopes to get some e4 action in, uh, but just knight captures on d6, also guards the e4 square. He does play e4, Magnus just captures it, and he was in this position on move 38, uh, that Nodirbek Abdusatorov resigned the game, and Magnus not wins only, not just that he wins the game, not just that he wins the title of World Blitz, champion but he is now the world champion of everything pretty much uh, uh, FIDE organized of every time format the classical the rapid uh, and the blitz world champion he's not a world fish or random champion but um that's uh that, that's a different story but yeah he resigned uh you you resign here you're down a full piece i mean there's so much pressure uh white is throwing it black there's the pass pawn there's the, there's the extra piece uh even if you try to play this let's say bishop d5 you can even play d6 and start pushing the pawn right away because the rook cannot be captured if the rook is captured knight of six check again you hang the black queen so th there is nothing abdusatrov can even try here and uh, exactly because of that he resigned on move 38 uh, so yeah, uh, big, big congratulations to Magnus on this spectacular achievement, winning absolutely everything. Um uh i'm sure he is very happy about that uh as we have covered mostly his games as he's, he's been doing well uh both in in, in blitz and rapid so uh we, we've uh, pretty much uh, been sticking around with his games if you have any other game that you've enjoyed like uh, the ones we've showed from from dubo from uh, uh you know uh, uh, some very very enjoyable games do use hashtag suggestion and we're gonna uh, cover them uh most likely tomorrow maybe even today but most likely tomorrow uh so yeah uh, that's uh, the game hope you guys enjoyed it and this very short coverage of the world rapid and blitz championship uh, i would like to thank uh, michael sakarias chris mullen uh, leonard uh, stachik uh, john henry and rafael zamora for a contribution to my channel thank you a lot i really appreciate it as usual you can check two of my previous videos here thank you all for watching and i will see you soon continuing to check up on your wonderful suggestions and whatever else happens in the chess world uh, thank you all i will see you soon and have an excellent rest of your day